La libella, la libella, la libella, la libella, la libella. Thank you. Hi, how are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back, or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is Man from South. If you like men's hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this one, then you're gonna love this channel. Please do press subscribe right now. Right, Memo Paris is a brand which I kind of got to grips with when I was sent a product, it must have been about two years ago, it was Irish leather. I absolutely loved it. I thought it smelled premium, I thought it looked beautiful, I thought it sat really well on the skin. The performance, I thought, could have been better, but I was excited by the brand. And um, this week, I got sent a whole bag of bits from Memo Paris and their PR team. And that was because they've just launched the brand new Ocean Leather. So I've been spritzing this, kind of getting to grips with it and um, I'll see how I get on. But I wanted to talk more about sort of fragrances and what these guys do because they sent me all these little testers. There's about 20 plus in here. But one of them was a discovery kit. This bad boy here, there's eight different little samples in here. And I thought instead of just me doing it myself, get the camera on, we'll have a chat, we'll go through a bit of a fragrance profiling, and just gonna see how I get on. I thought maybe quite exciting. So you can let me know if it is or it isn't exciting in the comments below. Also, if you've tried any of these, do let me know. Okay, um, Memo Paris, if you don't know them. So Memo Paris was set up in 2007 by Clara and John Malloy. They are a couple, Clara is Parisian, Catalan, John is Irish, and they travel together. And sort of during their travels, they sort of picked up sort of different fragrances and what they liked and they created this brand. For me, what's quite exciting about this brand is like Memo comes from memory. Memory is kind of a fragrance of the sillage, kind of what's left in the air. I love this. Fragrance is all about storytelling. And if you can storytell and you can market something and you can also create beautiful juices which just sell something to the nose and to the senses, then I'm all about that. So I'm excited to get into these. Right, I'll link all of these, by the way, um, in the description below. Also, I will um, give you the link to the fragrance fragrance pages of Man From Self. Already I'm feeling a bit like, I was filming something earlier with some fragrance, and this room is, is a little bit fragrancy, but I've had the window open, so it'll be good. Okay, eight fragrances in here. They have Irish leather, French leather, Memo Paris, Eau de Memo, sorry, African leather, Cadu, um, in something, um, uh, La Libella and Marfa. God, I'm like a total fool on this trying to get these. I know Irish leather, so this is not so much of a first impressions for me. What I like about Irish leather is that it's um, leather fragrances I've really kind of got into in the past, say, couple of years. I don't like hugely heavy leathers, but I like leathers that have kind of been spiced up a bit or they've had a bit of a floral sort of tuning to it. This one has got pink pepper in the top. So you've got something which is gives you that spicy opening, but a spicy fruity sort of opening, I think. And then you've got the leather in there too. I think it's beautiful. This came from a memory of, I wonder if it tells you. Um, yeah, here we go. The sun peeks through heavy gray clouds, oil of clary sage, the wind slips beneath, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it is beautiful. Clary sage, juniper grape green, blah, blah, blah. juniper berry, green matty absolute, olive, uh, leather accord. For me, um, what I, what I enjoy about this fragrance is the accessibility of the leather. It's not hugely heavy. It, it is a slightly more um, established leather, I'm gonna say. So sometimes leather can, can feel a bit lighter and more creamy. This one is more of a hawker leather. It's, it's definitely sort of sticks around. And also with that sort of sage, you do get a sort of herbaceous tonality to it. I do think it's beautiful. So. That is why I'm so excited to try the rest of these. Put you there. Okay, let's go into, do you know what, let's go, what's this one? Eau de Memo, maybe this, maybe this is one of their first one. Little birds on the front. I love their whole, um, I love their whole branding. I think the branding of Memo is beautiful and that really does help to sort of sell it in. I'm gonna try not to look at too much of this, I'm just gonna go with it. Um, the juice, very light where we get rid of this one. Goodbye, you were gorgeous. Oh, wow. I think that's got leather in it too. So it started with a bit of a fruity punch. Um, 
and I kind of thought a bit pineapple, but it's not at all. There's a woodiness to it. I think there might be leather in there too, but it's, it's yeah, I think this is, maybe this is a whole sort of leather pack, but um, <laughs> cheeky, that's for Saturday. But I do, I do quite enjoy that. Let's have a little, let's have a little read. This just shows I probably know nothing. Leather accord, fine. Um, green tea accord, oil of bergamot, so maybe oil of lemon, saffron, so there should be a spiciness. It's leathery, like that is what I'm getting from this. The initial um, fruitiness to me was a slightly more sour fruit rather than a sort of bergamot or a, or a, what else are we saying, oil of lemon. There is a, 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 a slight oiliness to it, an oiliness that you would get from a citrus fruit, but for me that is leather, that is pure leather. Do I, first impressions, ugh, mm, not too sure, that is heavy. Whereas the Irish leather I feel like has a, a slightly more softness to it, that just feels chunky. Um, it reminds me of, there's, there's, a, there's a Davidoff leather. Oh my God, it's gonna make me like spew. Um, <laughs> there's a Davidoff fragrance, which is a leathery one and it is too much. That could grow on me, maybe. Do you like leather fragrances? Um, because leather is, is still like fairly new to me, but I do really love them. But I think you've got to get it right. I once wore uh, a leather one by Killian and I went over the top and I was sat next to someone at dinner and they were literally like, what are you wearing? Uh, and I was like, oh, do they like it or not? They didn't like it. So. I went OTT, that was um, London leather, no Mayfair leather, leather Mayfair, don't know. Okay, let's go, um, Martha has the all seeing eye on there, gorgeous. I'm hoping for some amber, I'm hoping for some sort of gold, I want a light, I want a bright, I want, I want some sparkle in this. Come on Martha, let's do this. Wow, hello. Sun, summer, in a bottle. That is gorgeous. That is a summer scent if I've ever smelt one. Do you know Soleil Blanc? Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. You know, the white bottle. That's almost like a sort of sun cream, um, but very premium sun cream. It's not like you slap it on, spray it out. Um, this, this has got that to it. So, some coconut, perhaps. We've definitely got a touch of citrus in there. Oh, that is beautiful. That's so creamy. That's a by the beach. Actually, you're not on the beach. There's no sand here. This is so clean. This is a beautifully tiled pool. Slight heat off those tiles. You're lying there. You've got a drink. By, you don't move, by the way. You've got a white towel down. You're lying there. You're looking absolutely fantastic. The drinks are being brought out to you. This has warmth to it. This, uh, this has depth to it too though. So it's not staying up in those sorts of coconutty, I mean, I could be talking total shit here, but for me, this is summer. This is clean and it's summer. So what are we saying here, Martha? Um, oil of mandarin, so that's slight fruitiness. Orange blossom, absolute. Agave accord, tuberose, absolute. Oil of ylang ylang, oil of sandalwood, oil of cedar, vanilla seed. So th there's no coconut, but maybe where I'm going here is the vanilla seed, but I like that. I do like that a lot. I think with fragrance, you can sometimes feel quite intimidated to say what you smell. Don't worry about it. You know, if you smell that, you smell that. Go with it. Mandarin is a, a, a sweeter citrus fruit, and that that is something. There is the, the, the brightness of that. Um, it says, gay skyward, the desert is forgotten, tuberose absolute, mystery infinity hidden from view, silence beneath the cacti, a slow motion western. Vanilla seed, the Milky Way leaves an azure trail, the road half cedar, half sandalwood rises. I mean, they're just really selling that in, but that is beautiful. White mask, I need to train my nose better. Really get to sort of know these notes and what they are, but this is all a journey and we're all going on this journey together. Beautiful. Okay, let's go French leather, mm, French leather. I'm thinking it's gonna be sexy. We might get some rose in here. What else could we have? Um, oh, it could be like full bodied, like a great French red wine, or it could be meaty, <laughs> like a really good bavette steak. Really not quite right, Robin. French leather. Yeah, there's rose in there. Rose, something citrusy. 
Um, I sometimes think rose can smell slightly like caramel in certain things. If you remember when I did my video on Tom Ford fragrances, if you've not seen that, went through my whole collection, my own personal collection, and um, spoke about the rose prick being quite like caramel. There's a slight sweetness to it. It's obviously got that sort of floral sort of nature to it. This is this is nice. This is beautiful. Sometimes I think we, um, hi if you're a woman, by the way, um, I, I sometimes think that as a man, um, you might think that rose might be a little too feminine, but rose in fragrance, I think just has so much personality. And this is beautiful. There's definitely a slight citrus punchiness to this, but it's all about the rose. All about the rose. What are we saying with this? Lime essence, gorge. Um, rose essence, amazing. Suede accord, ooh. I think when leather is slightly punchier, suede is slightly softer. Um, maybe a given, but it, it does, it has a um, a warmth to it. It has a comfort to it. You want it against your skin. Really beautiful. I actually really like a rose fragrance on a man. I think when you smell a rose fragrance on, on a, I say slightly older gent, gent, who am I? Um, on say maybe a man of his early 30s, 30s, 40s, 50s. I think on a younger guy, it, it tends to not quite sit as easily with me. Um, but there's something in a power of knowing themselves and being able to wear this fragrance that I think is just so um, powerful and seductive. I, I Yeah, that's, that's great. I like that. That's definitely more um, for me, it could be more your autumn because I think the rose has just got this slightly more like evening sort of sense to it. Whereas the one before that I said was a bit more um, coconutty, which was, uh, not coconut though, was it? Marfa, I think is maybe a little bit more summer. These are beautiful. These excite me. I think we can find an exciting fragrance. It's beautiful. Um, also Memo, I, th I think could be giving um, Tom Ford a run for their money. Just, they look fantastic. Um, and they smell good. Okay. Let's go African leather, beautiful. We want some spice, don't we? We want some spice, we want some safari. We want just like the savanna. We want the sunrise, we want the sunset. We want it to be golden, we want it to be beautiful. We want the air. We don't wanna be in London, do we? Another high rise going up over there. Oh no, um, it'd be different if I was living in it, I'm sure. Oh, that is me. Wow. Oh, that is lively. As soon as I spritzed that, I felt like it was just shooting around the room. Wow, 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 wow. Come on, Robin. Think, what have we got here? What have we got here? It's sparkling. It's quite literally having a party in my nose. Leather, 100%. But what else are we getting here? Oh, that is beautiful. It smells, um, it doesn't smell like but it's instantly giving me those Gold Knight Killian vibes. And um, Killian sort of spoke about uh, creating a scent that smells like gold. What does gold smell like? It doesn't really have, really have a scent, but if you were to, to create something, synthesize something and stick it in a bottle, he said that. This has got those sort of gold things to me. Um, I think there might be cardamom in there. I'm getting that slightly later because there's a slight sort of coolness to it. That's changed, so it started off lively, it's now gone very cardamom to me. Um, I like it. That could be my favorite so far. That's quite a me, that's a, that's a bit of a, that's a bit of a me right there. That's a Robin James. Okay, what have we got? Beautiful. Um, boom, uh, oil of bergamot, oil of cardamom. It is cardamom all over, geranium absolute, um, leather accord, essence of uh, vetiver, musk, oud accord, oil of patchouli, so you've got that earthiness. Cardamom, cardamom with a leather jacket. Again, I, I try not to be too um, taken in by notes or by like pairings because just enjoy something, you know? Again, I'm sure there's people watching this thinking, you don't know anything, you're fucked. Um, but I'm enjoying this. I think fragrance should all be about enjoyment, about creating your own personality, having your own fragrance wardrobe. Beautiful. Oh, Memo, what are you doing to me? I should say, Memo fragrances are not cheap. 
when I looked on the site, they started about sort of 200 pounds for a 75 mil. Um, so I want a performance in that. So I'll, 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 I'll wear these and I'll see how I get on. Okay, let's go. All the names you can't say, Robin. Um, Lalibela. 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 Thank you. I'm sure you're shouting at your computer screen or your phone saying, it's Lali Lilibella. Cool. How does it smell? Ooh. That's not just your standard orange. Oh, who are you? And where have you been all my life? That's got a similarity to, to the one I loved, Marfa. That's got a small sort of citrus fruit in there. Um, beautiful. So what are we getting? What are we getting? Oh God, that is good. That could even have suede in it. Maybe white musk, coconut. Orange, hamster, I don't know. Um, that is warm to get, that is summer. That is summer friendly. It's softer, it's a lot softer than the Marfa one. Violet perhaps? Oh gosh, I'm just jumping around the world, aren't I? What have we got here? Living Orchid Cocoa, um, Rose Absolute. I'm not so much on the rose there. Jasmine Absolute, Oil of Patchouli, Vanilla, Tobacco Absolute, Frankincense, Labdanum Resin. I kind of failed there, didn't I? Um, so what am I smelling? Perhaps a rosiness, perhaps a sort of sweetness. I'm not getting much patchouli at all. Perhaps when I wear this, it would be slightly different. So it says, Lali Bela. I'm sure someone is like, that means rose, Robin. You utter twat. Um, so a mystical rose, 12 churches, hewn from the Ethiopian... 12 churches hewn from the Ethiopian rock in a single night. Vanilla. Mineral rock sculpted, cloaked in pink, emerged from the earth. Labdanin resin. Heavenly builders driven by mystical fervor. Jasmine absolute. Mysterious sanctuaries protected by the frankincense of an old age ritual. Beautiful. I like that. I think that could be forgettable though. Um, not forgettable to the person that made that. But that is, um, yeah, I do like that. Oh, it's too many here. Right, how are we getting on? We've got two more. Sorry if you're bored. I'm loving this. Um, let's go Kadu. It's from the Greens Vagabonds. Let's get into this. That's an exotic citrus. The, what are they called again? Oh gosh, Aqua de Parma. Aqua de Parma, when they brought out some of the new ones, there was one called Yuzu. That's a touch Yuzu right there. That's so orange. It's so orange, it's so bright. That summer, there's not much in the way of base in there for me, but it's juicy. It's punchy, it's juicy, it's young, it's lively. This to me is like a younger, sporty, athletic guy, but a guy who is quite preppy, who during the day wears very relaxed sort of clothing, dressed to perfection though. And then in the evening, he's always kind of got this really sort of great dinner jacket, really well cut. It's more of a sort of sport sort of cut, so it's less about the sort of long, really selling it in here. And he's always got a great white shirt with an amazing collar, so crisp, beautiful. What have we got here? Oil of grapefruit. Oil of grapefruit. Neroli, oil of mandarin, um, Matty Absolute, Freesia Accord, Rose Puny Accord, Sesame Absolute, White Musk Moss. Quite, um, quite sort of dancey notes there. Like lively, quite bright. Nothing too hectic, nothing too heavy. None of the leathers, none of the ouds. No patchouli, no patchouli. Um, I like that. I like that, I don't love it. If someone sort of left it for me and said, wear this, I would say, yeah, cool, okay, I'll wear that. Um, summary. Summary, but I, I sort of prefer those um, creamier fragrances that we had before. Okay, final one. I'm gonna go Inlay. Um, that is beautiful, clouds. Let's go Inlay. Totally different from all the other ones. Wow, Oh. Oh, I'm not too sure. Oh, I'm not too sure at all. That is, 
That is green. It's quite sour. There's a greenness to it. A lot of those felt either quite creamy and bright and very sun um, solar. And then a lot of them felt very citrus. This is not like the others. You're not like the others. I've always thought that. You are not like the others. What is that? I'm not keen on that. I've got no idea and I'm tired, so I'm just going to read it. Um, oil of bergamot, oil of artemisia, oil of mint. It smells a bit off, to be honest. I don't love that. Osmanthus absolute, jasmine sandback absolute, matty absolute, oil of fluvre, uh, musk. So it says an, an osmanthus submerged in a cloud of tea. Wow. Time stands still over Lake Inlay in Burmay. Burmay, Burma, come on Robin. Jasmine absolute, boats like the places. That's kind of nice, but kind of also not. Um, it's a collection of fragrances for men and for women, forming a map of the world that both delights and stirs the imagination. Each fragrance is like a treasure hunt. Yeah, that's my least favorite out of all of them. Why don't I like that? I think it smells sour and a little bit off. That's not for me. Anyway, we are not we shouldn't have ended on that one, should I? Um, I've really enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed this. Thanks for just uh, indulging in me. If you've got to the end of this video, let me know. I wonder how many people actually have. I'll be surprised if anyone has, but thank you for sticking with me. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore these a little bit more. That was just like a real quick whiz through. I think maybe my, the one that's sort of hanging around in my head is Martha. I think she's beautiful. Oil of Mandarin, oil, um, Orange Blossom Absolute, Tuberose Absolute, White Mask. I think that is gorgeous. That's so right now. Um, we're in July. So maybe that's what I'm just going to wear right now. But um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you want more sort of um, first impressions or you want me to get into memo and more of these, whew, um, then let me know in the comments below. Also, check out the fragrance pages of Man From Self. So many fragrances. I wanted to like pick pick a number out. Maybe there's like 50. Do you know what? There's more than 50. All on there. I will link that. Also, if you're still new to this, you've still not pressed subscribe, then please do hit subscribe right now. The button, whoa, it's too much. The button is right there. Those are more of suggestions there. Link to the fragrance pages there. My Instagram is up there. Come and follow. Come and say hi. Loads going on. But until my next new video, bye-bye.